on, on a practical level, you know, you guys, what, what you could actually do to stimulate that is learn to prelude, to do transitional preludes between repertoire, uh, like they did in the old days. Okay, so, uh, by the way, here's a great story. Mozart knew how to do this very well. His sister was not so fluent, and so he wrote a modulating prelude for her. And he said, uh, learn this so you can do it in any key. So if you finish a sonata in E and you have to go play in C minor, you can use it and pretend you're improvising. So he, he taught her to fake improvising, which I think is hilarious. Uh, so what they would do before they would play anything, they would just um, do a little bit of preluding. Uh, so let's say we're going to do... Um, Okay, so it's an F major. Um, now, I, I could just do it without any reference to the sonata. I think it would be a riot. We'll make it a requirement. It'll be, it'll be hilarious. Don't write it out. Don't write it out. And if you're perfectionistic and terrified, here's what you do. Recognize that you're perfectionistic and terrified and that you're actually not going to be able to not plan. You're going to be incapable of that. You will plan. Plan two or three ways to do it. And then don't decide until the last moment. And now you're exercising 
that last minute decision, okay? It's just a little exercise, but it's better than just planning the whole thing. Just even two options. Guys, thanks for hanging out. It was a blast to meet you and hang out with you. Thank you so much.